Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be the art of having fun. Well, I've got a little slightly different setup. I'm actually filming this today using my iPhone 10 because I'm in the process of shooting a few videos, some commercials, and I'm using my teleprompter with my main camera. So it's such a pain in the ass to set up that I left that set up so I could do that. And I figured I'm going to try and see how good a video turns out using my iPhone. 10. So I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments what you think, how the sound is, how the picture quality. So the email I got today is a really great success story from a guy who had lots of things. He basically, like most people, found me when he had a devastating breakup back in 2015. He's had a lot of great things since then and, and what my work really helped him to do was to start taking action and taking or making decisions that he kind of always wanted to do or deep down wanted to do but he was a little too timid too shy and as he started applying the things that he was learning in my book obviously it really improved his dating life but it's incredible what he's accomplished in his professional life his business he actually started a new business doing really well i'll get into the details as i get into his email but what really brought this conversation up and kind of, you know, because the guy's email came in, I was thinking, okay, what am I going to do for the next video? And I was having a conversation with a really good friend of mine last week, and we were talking about life and enjoying it because this particular friend of mine, he's like me, works from home, has his own business. He's got a girlfriend. He's been dating for a few years. She has her own business, but she's kind of married to her own business. And so he's been like me his whole life. He's been a serial monogamist. And he's never really, doesn't feel guilty about not being married, even though people, including his parents, are like, when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna have kids? Even though his, rel his siblings have children of their own. And they're, quite frankly, they're not really happy in their relationships. And so my friend and I, one of the things we've talked about, because I've known him for a long time, is that he, does what a lot of people do. He tends to stay in a relationship a lot longer than he should. And what we were talking about was the art of having fun. And obviously that's where the inspiration for the name of this video newsletter comes from. Because really having fun, enjoying your life really is an art. And when we, des we decide something's happy or we decide something is fun, really based upon what we decide it means to us. And so like this, what I liked about this guy's email that I'm going to read this success story is that he had a lot of things in his life, like most of us, that he wasn't satisfied with, but yet he wasn't really doing anything to take any action. Like my good buddy of mine, because we've been having this conversation about him and his girlfriend for about the past year. And the reality is he knows it's time to move on. He wants to move on, but she's a great girl and he has a lot of fun with her. But because of their lifestyle and how he set his life up, where he basically has ownership of, of his time and he, he's, he likes to travel, he wants to be able to hop on a plane and just go somewhere and have fun and she just simply can't do that. And even when they do travel together, she's on her phone a lot and she's married to her business just because that's the way she set it up. Now, is it realistic to expect him to completely change her life and change her business to accommodate him? Well, the particular line of work that she's in, she has to be available quite a bit. So unless she undergoes a major radical career change, that ain't going to work. So my buddy is at this place where deep down he's, he knows he wants to move on and experience something new. But I mean, who wants to go through a breakup? I mean, it fucking sucks. I've been through many of them over the course of my life. And even when you're the one who decides to be the dumper, because it's always worse to be the dumpee, it still sucks. You still feel bad, you still feel guilty, you break the other person's heart, and your friends, your family that have all kind of intermingled with them over the years, now you're gonna kind of split up and go your separate ways. And it's, it's just not fun, it's not a pleasant process. Obviously when you come out on the other side, like you're gonna see with this particular guy, it worked out great for him. And that's the key is like, as you're making changes and taking action based upon the decisions that you make and you're working to make your life the way you want it, the idea is you want to enjoy the journey because the reality is, is that like I got to talk about my second book, Mastering Yourself, which you can get for free on my website by subscribing to the newsletter or 
on audible.com by doing a free member trial, is that you know, I talk about how to get the things that you want in your life and how important it is to make those decisions, but the reality is no matter what you decide to do, you're a minimum of a decade to get there from where you are right now. And usually a decade and a half to like really hit the sweep out, sweet spot. Like when I look back on my real estate mortgage career, it's like where I got to 2003, 2004, which were like my, my best years were, everything was going amazing. I mean, I started that journey when I was 18. And so I'm 33, 34, so you figure, that's a decade and a half. That's 15 years to get to that point where I feel like, man, I'm fucking crushing it. And the average person looks at that and they see you when you're successful and think, oh, that's gonna take too long for me to get there. And like we're gonna see with this particular guy whose success story I'm gonna read is that this is something that was ongoing in the back of his mind that he wanted to do, but because of the story that he was telling himself, it just wasn't in the realm of possibilities. But what's interesting is that we're always trying to manifest what is really in our heart. We're always trying to do it in some way. So his life, his lifestyle, the people that were involved, he made a lot of key relationships over the course of his life. And then when he got ready to pull the trigger, he had all these people lined up. He knew what he wanted. He was passionate about it. He's gotten great results, which you'll see. So with that being said, I'm gonna go through this quote that I wrote, and then we're gonna go through the guy's email. Quote says, being successful is the result of the continuous application of the science of high achievement fundamentals. Having fun is an art. It's the conscious choice to continually assign positive and empowering meanings to the majority of what you spend your time doing. Happiness is the art of consciously choosing to be happy no matter what happens or where life takes you. So let's go through his email. Corey, my name is Bob. I'm a huge fan, but that wasn't always the case. I found your work after a devastating breakup in 2015. It was because I was weak and needy. I was made fun of a lot as a kid and young adult for having gynecomastia, man boobs and not the kind that you can work out to get rid of. I probably butchered that word, but. So you can imagine, obviously the guy got a lot, got teased a lot, and what do you think that does to a person's psyche? You probably heard, you're not attractive, you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you don't deserve to have what you want, no girl's gonna wanna be with you because you got fucking man boobs. Can you imagine? So obviously a story gets created in his head that he tells himself, and he lives his life with that story in his head. And it affects everything in his life, not just his personal life. He says, this often caused me to be afraid of getting intimate with women, made me feel weak in front of other men, and kept me from going after my true purpose in life. Again, because of the story that he was telling himself. Now I fucking lead. I was 33 at the time. I started with your videos, which coaxed me into your book. So obviously at the time he's talking about 3% Man, which you can also read for free on my website, understandingrelationships.com. And you can do an audible free trial and get that as well. Actually, I think it's in the United States, Germany, France, and the UK, I think, at, the, at least at the time of this video, that they have an offer where you get two free audiobooks if you do the audible trial. So you can actually get both my audiobooks for free if you decide to do that. If you're a lifelong learner like I am, it's a great way to learn and to save money, obviously. So he says, I've since listened to 3% Man over 15 times and have physically read it once. I still go back and listen to chapters about once a month to keep centered. I've also purchased your new book and have listened to it once. My morning routine always involves some Corey Wayne. Since 2015, I said, fuck it. So what does that mean? He made a decision. It's like one of the things that Tony Robbins says is that the the quality, or I should say, it's in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. So he got to a point in his life where he's like, fuck it, I'm tired of living this way. Remember the art of having fun. I wanna enjoy my life, I wanna have fun. I've always wanted to do this or that, whatever happens to be, fucking, I'm going for it anyways. So he said, what's the worst that can happen? You'll fail, and if you fail, guess what? You're always gonna learn something. He says, well, let me tell you what does happen. This guy with a total dad bod makes women's legs shake and scream his name during the indoor Olympics. You fucking animal. I've dated and slept with many women, caught ridiculous red flags on the first date, 
deflected tests with smiles and smirks, and kick my jealous beta male tendencies to the curb. Women I get serious with always stay in the eight to 10 range on the attraction scale, according to my book. And for those of you who wanna know, it's in the chapter, it's all in the numbers, that's where the attraction table is. And I can easily gauge their attraction. Thank you for that. Well, you're welcome. Also, since then, I have opened two restaurants and I'm striving to open more. Now listen to this. This is a short period of time, but people look at this go, oh, he's an overnight success. Well, really, he's been preparing for this his whole, his whole life, whether he was realizing it or not, because he was into this stuff. He had a dream, a vision, it was in the back of his mind, but he always said, there's no way you can do that. I mean, how can a guy with man boobs do something like this, right? It's understandable. So he says, one restaurant hasn't even been open for a year and we have over 30,000 likes on Facebook and I checked, I looked it up. And I also, he's got almost 2,000 ratings in his restaurant, 4.8 out of five stars. The people, well, you know what they said? They said the food is amazing and they said the service is amazing. I mean, how, everybody that's watched this, how many times have you gone to a restaurant, especially a new restaurant that just opened, and you're like, this place is really cool looking and then you get your meal and the food just is average or it kind of fucking sucks and on top of that it's expensive. You ain't gonna go back to that particular restaurant and it's amazing to me as being a guy that tended bar and waited tables for several years in his life, which I have a lot of extensive experience in the restaurant business. If your food sucks and or your service sucks, people just aren't gonna keep coming back and it just blows my mind. People open new restaurants and they put all this money and making it look cool, but the food sucks. If you're, you know, the whole purpose of going there is you want to eat good food and obviously you want to have a good time. And so if somebody loves food and loves the restaurant business, that's the kind of person that should be opening a restaurant. That's what happens when you love what you do and you're really, you're exceptional at it. You have high standards for yourself and everybody you're involved with and obviously your employees. So he says it's doing about four and a half million dollars a year in revenue. It's not even been open a year yet. Four, four point two five million a year. I mean, he says, wow, people now see me as a confident alpha male. Women want me, and guys want to be me. I get asked for business advice. Remember the art of having fun. You think he's he's got four point eight out of five stars, thirty thousand likes in under a year, over four million a year in gross sales so far, and he's got a second location open already. I mean. Don't you think he's gonna be smiling a lot because things are going well? He's happy, he's having fun, he's enjoying his life. That makes him attractive. Just like he said, women wanna date him and guys wanna hang out with him and go into business with him. And so he says, he says, I had a state representative ask me if I wanted to enter a restaurant partnership with him and his group. Why well, yes, Congressman, let me think about that and I'll get back to you. 12 years ago, I was working at a fast food chain. So obviously he got experience in the restaurant business. He says, it's crazy. I bought a car that only a Bond villain would drive and I'm completely in love with a woman who knocks my socks off and her socks have also been knocked the fuck off. Dude's got a little bit of swagger. He says, I've included a donation once a month because you are the fucking man. Well, if you're so inclined to send a recurring or one-time donation, you can go to my website and click the donate button either on the bottom or your screen in the toolbar and donate whatever you feel is the value you've received from my work. And if you don't feel like you've got enough value yet, we'll just keep watching, keep reading, keep learning. And then when you feel like this fucking shaved head fuck really has paid off for me, let me throw him a 20. Always appreciate it. He says, Corey, I found you exactly when I needed to and I couldn't be more thankful for you and your experiences. Here's a picture of me and my girl. I'm not gonna share it, sorry. Gotta protect the innocent. He says, thanks man, please consider using this in one of your videos to help encourage other dudes that might be struggling with issues that I had. People need to know when you do the shit that Corey Wayne talks about, doors open. So this guy, I would say, is doing a great job at the art of having fun because now he's going for the things he wants with the attitude of, hey, what's the worst that can happen? And look how it's paid off for him. When preparation meets opportunity and passion and heart and you can do something 
that sets your soul on fire, everybody is going to take notice. And what that means is a lot of other opportunities are going to come your way because of it. So if you'd like to get my help personally with a challenge in your personal or professional life that you may be having, you can go to my website, click the products tab at the top of your screen on any page and book a coaching session and I will be happy to help you. And until then, I will talk to you soon.